Hi everyone, it's Raja. And the Vivian. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. UK edition, how are you, Pat? Yeah, oh, you know what, I'm doing fine. I know most people don't say this very much about you, but I'm really having such a good time with you, the Vivian. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Today's theme is prehistoric. And speaking of prehistoric, you ought to see my bush right now. What? It is downright Jurassic Park. <laughs> Gail, you need to get yourself the performance package from Manscaped. Don't worry about it, bitch. I already got it too. Yeah. <laughs> The performance package from Manscaped has got you covered on everything you need to do with your balls, whether it's trimming or crop preserving, ball deodorant, crop reviver, they have got you Gail. Yes. The Lawnmower 3.0 Manscaped trimmer is waterproof and has advanced skin safe technology to make sure that you're not gonna chop your bollocks off. <laughs> it has a built-in adjustable guard so you can go for a nice fade too. Give me a minute. <laughs> yes! And it's got this gorgeous little charging dock. Ooh, convenience. You can get all of this in the performance package from Manscaped. Get 20% off and free international shipping plus two free gifts. When you go to manscaped.com forward slash toot UK. <laughs> These queens are going to give us all of the Flintstones, all of the Jurassic Park, all of the Neanderthal realness. I am so, 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 so jealous. If anyone knows me, you will know that I am a huge, massive Jurassic Park fan. So this is like the crossover that I never thought I would see. I didn't realize that people really stand Jurassic Park like that. It's a bit intense. I mean, I've got tattoos. I sit making figurines. I paint them. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see that you've already dressed in theme. And since we're talking about being prehistoric, I just came as myself. <laughs> All right, let's get into some looks. Let's bring on our first prehistoric girl. Category is prehistoric. Ahora! Oh my God. This is fabulous. This looks like something from a Lady Gaga tour. If Jurassic Park had an amphitheater where they would, you know, during lunchtime, you could watch some entertainment. You could go and see Lady Gaga at the amphitheater at Jurassic Park. <laughs> I'm a little silent right now because I am fully absorbing this beautiful costume and she's fully naked from behind and looks stunning. This outfit is cool. This is gorgeous. This is bones. This is the thing around the face. It's something we've seen before, but it still feels fresh, which means that she's done exactly what she wanted to. The fur looks amazing, the hair looks great. It doesn't look too set. It looks nice and messy, but still done. I love anything that involves sort of natural history. I love bones, I love taxidermy. I love all of these concepts. I love the makeup too, because it's it also adds that symmetry that is happening in this sort of vertebrae, bones, skeletal. It's also quite space age too, which I, I love that juxtaposition. And did I mention how much I love her beautiful, tight, high, young <laughs> ass and how I wish I... I owned one. Because you're a thirsty, thirsty whore, Raja. There's that too. There's that part. That's, yes, that, that needs to be said. <laughs> a horror, I give you, my darling, a toot. I give a horror a toot as well. Next, let's bring to the stage. Taste. This is gorgeous. Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. She was like, I'm not f***ing around. I'm going to give you all of it. She looks like I would not with her. If I was riding my dinosaur through my neighborhood and she was the bad bitch on the street, I would be going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I love the pelts just kind of put together. I love the tribal feel of it. She's terrifying. The hair is fantastic. The red through the makeup and I'm kind of getting like witch doctory vibes from it. What has she got in her mouth? Oh, you know what? I'm sure Taste gets that question all the time. <laughs> 
She looks like she has a whole other set of teeth in there. How can you have that many teeth but still look that stunning? Just fantastic. I never thought I'd be so happy with so much teeth. <laughs> I love that there's like this kind of cartoony camp whimsy with the eyeballs, if that's what that's supposed to be in teeth. There's a face going on on her panties section. That kind of brings it to a little bit of fashion for me. I don't, I don't know, I just love the whole thing. I love the whole thing. I think prehistoric taste has killed it. I am gonna give it a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage, sister, sister. Oh. Oh. Ah. ah. That's my velociraptor sound that I make. <laughs> From the hemline up, I really enjoy this. But I don't love a Mary Jane high heel ever. This thing needs a boot or something. I love the phallus as a hairstyle, always. Anything you can put on your head and also put up your ass is always a, a <laughs> bonus, isn't it? The mouthpiece harkens back to um, Aquaria's moment. Exactly. I love the cat. I think the cat is a really cute touch. The fabric feels cheap to me, like costumey. If you Google tiger print, what it would look like rather than actual tiger print. I'm kind of on the fence. We have to keep in mind that this is, you know, it's pre historic in theme. It's, you know, maybe it doesn't need to be always so literal. Maybe, I just think there's nicer fabrics out there. You're a vicious, vicious person. <laughs> I say if a fabric is a cheap fabric, put a ton more of it. So people are distracted by the cheapness of it. And then some teal fringe at the bottom of it. That's the part that throws me off. I actually would love it if she would have probably just got rid of the teal fringe and then also the Mary Jane shoe in place of like something that had a, an animal print as well. I like the silhouette. I just wish there was something a bit more to the outfit itself. I'm gonna give this a boot. Oh, cruel. But you know, overall, I really love what she brought, mostly. So I'm gonna give it a two. Next we bring to the stage. Tia Coffee. She's given us quite literal pterodactyl with a bat wing, so I don't think it's latex. It's just lycra, it's painted lycra. I do love the headpiece. I love the headpiece. I'm getting pterodactyl, I'm getting prehistoric, but I'm not getting prehistoric on Drag Race. This looks like, you, you know when you pull your balls out? This is what your balls look like after Manscaped. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm also comparing it to what I've seen so far from the other girls. Where that pattern is finishing at the bottom of the dress kind of looks like she's had an accident of some sort. Maybe she just sh herself on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the option of tea or coffee on this episode, I'd say I'll pass on both. I give this look a boot. Sorry, Tia, it's a boot because I just feel it's a little bit like a ball bag with who at the bottom of it? Oh. <laughs> this is getting out of control and I love it. Next we bring to the stage. Bimini Bamboulash. This is gorgeous. This is very Damien Hurst, Decay, Taxidermy. Gorgeous, it looks like she's got crows up her arms, the pleats in the front. This is just stunning. The shoes. They look like Vivian Westwood elevators, and if they are, I'm living for them. Those are British designer Natasha Morrow. She makes beautiful bespoke shoes. She's made me a couple pairs, so I recognize that. What's really great too is the dress itself. It really reminds me of Iris Van Herpen, the Dutch designer, who has been a huge influence on a lot of drag stuff. I've seen it a lot on the American version. People have been really kind of using her silhouette. I love that. The things on the arms are fun too. The hair is cool, the makeup is interesting. All of this all goes well together and it really says a lot about her taste level and style. Definitely, this is so exciting to look at. She looks like post-apocalyptic, but prehistoric, with fashion, with every kind of influence in there. Just absolutely stunning. I don't think we've seen Bimini look this way. She's always been kind of punky, whereas this is really like fashion and model and gorgeous. So she's showing us another side to her. This is an absolute two. I give this like a two. Next, let's bring to the stage, Lawrence Cheney. There was a sale on this fabric, the Vivian. <laughs> there was a sale on this fabric. 
I can't help but feel that I feel this fabric looks cheap. It seems to me if you were gonna go as Wilma Flintstone for Halloween, you would go and find this fabric. I don't think stones could even save this fabric, even though I'm sat here in cheap stretch fabric, but I'm not on the <laughs> runway of drag race at the minute. She should have had a huge bone in her hair. If you're gonna go for that kind of glamorous Wilma Flintstone look, I think she's got like a rhinestone scrape down her chest, which is cute and a teeth necklace, which is also cute. I think it's a gorgeous Lawrence Chaney look. Oh, there's little caveman drawings on the lining, which is a really cute detail. Oh my God, that's so smart. That is probably one of my favorite things about this outfit. It's gorgeous and I probably would wear it because I love that kind of silhouette. But I think for the challenge, I think it's prehistoric. I think it was asking for a little bit more and I think this is too classic drag. This is where I wanted that other outfit to go and uh, here it is. And I love that the detail of the cave painting sells it for me. So I'm gonna give this look a toot. Toot. This is not only just a toot for me, it's a toot with an H, so it's a tooth. <laughs> get it? I get it. <laughs> All right, next we bring to the stage, Ellie Diamond. She's got bones in her hair, isn't that what you wanted? This is like Pebbles is all grown up from the Flintstones. She's now got a fake ID. She's going down to the club. It's kind of like punk rock, prehistoric. But I think she looks cute. I, I do think that this is sort of textbook drag though. It's the little skirt, it's the boot. It is textbook drag. It is basically a corset, a skirt and a top. But it is fulfilling the brief. It screams prehistoric and it's cute because it reminds me of the pebbles had completely gone off the rails, become a hooker, moved to WeHo, and now she's going out to Mickey's. I am giving it a toot. I give her a toot. Trend alert. Cheap tiger print. <laughs> Girl, that's the exact same fabric, seen twice on the same stage on the same night. What is going on? If I would have pulled that out and seen someone else with the same fabric, I would have died. Our, Our top, top two of the week, of the week is... is Ahora! Ahora! Ahora, ahora, ahora! I love ya! Your ass is so gorgeous, ahora! And them bones in the front, yes! Lady Gaga album tour, walking down the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race, absolutely amazing, just fantastic, stunning. Catch all new episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two on BBC iPlayer every Thursday night. And if you live outside of the UK and Canada, you can always catch Drag Race season two UK edition on WOW Presents Plus. Bye, bitch. <laughs>